hello friends my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial uh, in past uh, series of video tutorials we have been discuss about the uh, HQL Hibernate query language now in this video tutorial onwards uh, we'll see uh, uh, we'll talk about the native SQL queries in Hibernate uh, Hibernate as we know that Hibernate is a ORM tool of ORM tool means uh, whatever I mean HQL we had written till 8 then uh, those basically those HQL qu query is basically database independent so tomorrow if your database vendor is gonna change then same SQL is gonna work but uh, it's not the case with the uh, native SQL so if you write a native SQL in Hibernate and tomorrow your database vendor is changed then uh, you might need to change your uh, SQL queries so uh, basically there, are, there is overall motive of uh, ORM tool like Hibernate is to we should keep away from the native SQL until unless we do not use some specific feature of uh, some specific database uh, which is not provided by the Hibernate right still uh, in this video tutorial and next uh, few video series we'll look how hibernate uh, basically supports to run uh, plain native sql queries so here i have prepared a slide we'll go through the slides and uh, in in this video tutorial we'll see some uh, important points about the native sql query in hibernate and next video we'll uh, look into some uh, uh, practical example related to what we discuss in this video tutorial so here uh, you can see native SQL queries you may also express queries in native SQL dialect of your database in Hibernate. Uh, this is useful if you want to utilize database specific features such as uh, windows functions or the connect by option in Oracle. It also provides a, a clean migration path from a, di from a di direct SQL or JDBC based application to Hibernate or JPA. Hibernate also allows you to specify handwritten SQL including a stored procedure and functions for all create, update, delete and retrieve operations. Uh, now how we can run uh, native SQL? So creating native SQL query using JPA uh, and Hibernate, we know that Hibernate is one of the implementation of JPA so features which are supported by the JPA of course Hibernate will support. So execution of uh, native SQL queries is controlled via the native query interface which is which is basically obtained by calling a session dot create native query. So uh, if you look into the uh, uh, Hibernate API then we have a session interface and session basically extends shared session contract and shared session contract basically again extends query provider and if you go here then you will see a lot of API so here in this basically API we are we will look into the uh, uh, API is called create uh, sorry not create uh, yeah create uh, sorry create native query so if you look at create native queries so there are three overloaded method of create native query which basically returns a native query which is another interface right this is an interface type so what we are, we are discussing in the slide so create native query which takes a single parameter uh, as a string which is nothing but the native query itself second uh, overloaded method is create native query which takes sql string and uh, result class right so here this is the second and third overloading method again you have a, a create native query which takes two parameter again so first parameter both parameter as a string so basically we will use this api in next uh, video uh, now in this video we are discussing about the concept only so if you have a native query then you have a in session interface right so session interface is having a some super interface there we have uh, you can find create native query method right and uh, that method accepts a string as an argument and that a string is nothing but the sql query itself in that way you can run a plain native query in hibernate now 
uh, scalar queries scalar queries means you are not going to select the entire rows complete i mean all columns uh, in a rows so you basically you are sometimes interested to select few columns uh, in a row right then hibernate native query selecting all columns so first if you would like to select all columns in hibernate then you would like uh, write a plain sql query like select a star from person and person is your table name right so creates native query there you are passing uh, your sql query as a string and you are calling list method so this is basically going to return us a array of object right and uh, of course you will have to iterate this and you will get a uh, uh, basically you will have to retrieve the every column explicitly from this object array that we will see in the next video session now hibernate native query with custom column selected so sometimes you you would like to select a few columns like id and name right which is uh, uh, this uh, column from the person table so that's the way to iterate right so here if you look into the query then first you have id and then name so in first index you will get the uh, uh, ID and second index will get the name so we will have to type cast like, like this so you'll get the object of array and object of array you need to iterate and first index will get the ID and second index it will have to uh, you, you will get the name so you will have to type cast into the corresponding data type right so there are a lot of uh, I mean code nested codes are there so like there are a lot of labor work now hibernate in native query explicit result set selection so sometimes you can call the create uh, native query method there you can pass the select star from employee your uh, native sql query and you can call the add scalar method and here you will have to pass the column name and explicitly you can tell the hibernate what kind of value is hold by this column like your id is type type of long so you can say long type dot instance similarly your name is type of a string so you can say string type dot instance and if you call the list method still this guy is going to return now return the object of array and you need to iterate this object array and need to type cast into the corresponding data type right but here thing is that here still you are specifying the sql query as a select star from person but you are selecting only two columns so this will return you the only two columns not the all column values so that the things you can see uh, i have written in the bottom now hibernate native query with result set selection that's a partially explicit so as we have seen in the previous slide uh, so previous slide what we have uh, done we have selected uh, two columns right and for both column we have uh, we, we are telling the hibernate what's the uh, what's the type of uh, what is the type of this uh, column uh, value hold by these columns right so, but uh, here here in this example you can see id i am telling the type of long type but for name i did not specify any, any type still hibernate is capable to convert name into a string and this will not throw any error so that's what this heading says hibernate native query with result set selection that's a partially explicit so your add scalar name is partially explicit still hibernate is able to convert into the string now how we can get the entity uh, entity queries so above queries we are all about returning a scalar values right basically returning a raw values from the result set that was not returning the complete i mean all columns in a row uh, uh, result set or row right so till yet we have seen how we can select uh, 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 I mean a few columns from every row right so that's the basically row, raw values but sometimes if you are interested to select the uh, complete result set or all columns in, in a row then how we can do that so again you have a session dot create native query and there you are passing select a star from you, you are passing uh, basically a SQL query which basically returns the all rows from the uh, person table and you need to call the add entity method so add entity and here you will have to pass the entity class uh, uh, class uh, from this table is binded right 
so your table is binded with the person so person class so and you call the list method right so this will directly return you the list of person right it, it, so this is not going to return the uh, object array this is going to return the directly list of persons so this is the recommended approach basically so here suppose assume person is mapped as a class with a column id name nickname address created on and version then the following query will also return a list where each element is a person entity so here we have given the star instead of a star you can select the all column like id and all columns should be separated with the comma still this is going to return you the list of person right but uh, your uh, person table is having uh, this this much column but if you are selecting the only few columns and suppose if you se uh, select uh, if you select id name nickname address created on but you are not selecting the version in that case you are selecting the partial object not the complete person object in that case this will throw an error so here all column names you can specify explicitly or you can put the star both will work but you can leave any of the uh, column in that case this is going to throw you class class exception so that's all i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial uh, whatever things we have discussed in this video uh, in next video we are going to look uh, we'll understand these things through an example so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial